I've made a couple of videos in the past directly towards Pokimane before. One of the last few videos that I remember making about her was specifically when she had the whole like cookie fiasco about it being overpriced and the fact that it was basically just cookies from Costco but just with her name on it. And ultimately that didn't really even matter in the grand scheme of things. It was just something that was really fucking stupid and she said some really stupid stupid things about it but if there is one thing that i can say about pokimane it's that she has very interesting stories revolving around her simps and none other of which encapsulates how hilarious they can be than her most recent story about an editor that she used to have where well i'll just go ahead and just show you the clip hey do you have time to talk i'm ready to finally tell you why i've been struggling so much with deadlines and I said, oh, like, great. Hopefully this is something that we can fix. Tell me why he proceeds to tell me that the reason why he would sometimes turn around videos a week or two late is because he couldn't stop touching himself. What? What the fuck? I think this story is absolutely hilarious. O other stories before in the past, it was mostly just down to the fact that it was basically just one of her subscribers on her Twitch channel or just something. Someone who was simping very hard for Pokimane, basically. Just donating hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars for her. And they were going on to like the brink of about to being kicked out of their own apartment building. And they were going to be basically homeless because they couldn't be able to pay their rent. Because all the money that they were making was being given directly to Pokimane. This story though is just absolutely fucking hilarious. The fact that one of her editors just couldn't stop gooning to so much footage of Pokimane that it was literally inhibiting him from actually doing the job that he was hired to fucking do. The fact that he even went out of his own way to tell her this, like, like he actually goes to her directly and tells her, yeah, I, the reason why I haven't been doing my job and sometimes videos come out a week or two late is because I can't stop masturbating to the footage that you send me. That's potentially hours worth of footage at a time that is being sent to him that he is constantly just jerking off to. You know, beating his meat, choking the chicken, however way you want to describe it. He is just constantly, for who knows how long, for days on end, just constantly, just constantly jerking off to this whatever footage that it is that he's watching. Some people will obviously say, oh, why didn't he just go on the hub and do this? Why didn't he just go on to example adult website to go and beat his meat to? And it's like, I can kind of like imagine what he was probably thinking in his head. What he was probably thinking in his head was, I could probably go onto the hub and start beating my meat to whatever raunchy ass video that I want to watch. But it just hit different being sent the actual footage from the person that I'm masturbating to. That's probably what the motherfucker was thinking in his head when he was doing all this. It, like, it just hit different the fact that he was personally being sent the footage of the person that he was jerking off to. That just was probably what was going through his head as he was doing that. What caused him to ultimately end up revealing this to her? I have no idea. Maybe he genuinely felt guilty because he was being hired to do a job that he was being paid for, and he just wasn't doing it because he was constantly gooning to the footage that he was being sent by Pokey directly, but instead he was just not doing what he was being paid to do. Maybe he genuinely felt that way. Maybe he was expecting her to like, fall in love with him or something, which is very weird. I don't think this is something that you could even break out of me, right? There's no way that you could do anything to me physically or mentally that would cause me to ultimately end up revealing this to, about myself not that i do this obviously but i don't think you could do anything to me that would make me want to reveal something like this to anybody it doesn't even matter who it is it could be my best fucking friend in the world and i would not reveal that shit to him i would not reveal it to fucking anybody you could torture me for hours days months years on end doing the most gratuitous shit to me possible and I will never reveal it because that is just way, way too much information that does not need to be known by anyone else besides myself. Anyways, just wanted to talk about this really quick because I thought this was hilarious. Don't want the video to be too long. And with that, 
just gonna go ahead and wrap it up and continue to keep laughing at the story and move on until whatever else happens in the next coming days maybe something interesting will end up happening but i thought that this was funny and i wanted to say something about it that's pretty much it though if you like the video be sure to leave a like and if you want to see more please be sure to subscribe please turn on bell notifications so you don't miss another video i'll see you guys in the next one also please go check out my last video because it didn't really do too well uh i don't know why i guess the, it just didn't hit the algorithm too well i guess but that's besides the point Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you want to see more, turn on notifications, I'll see you guys in the next one, I'm out, peace.